Hi, Joseph Smith with New Tech USA. Just want to review the basic functions for our controllers on our RK series air compressors. I'll review the actual touch pan keys and exactly what their functions are and then we'll walk through the parameters. The green is your actual start button, so when you want to start the compressor, you press the green button. When you want to stop the compressor, that's your red button. You hit the red button, compressor unload, time off, and shut down. The backwards L arrow, that's your enter button. So when you want to change a given parameter, you press the enter button, you'll see that parameter flashing. You use your plus or minuses to either raise or lower or make that change on that parameter and then hit the enter button again. Those numbers will go solid and it's just accepted the new parameter that you programmed it for. F button is a reset button. So if you go into an alarm condition, the red light's gonna be flashing. I'll give you an example. It's a e-stop button. So the e-stop button was depressed and you'll see emergency stop flashing on an alarm and the red light is, is flashing. We disengage the e-stop, press the F button, it clears the alarm on the screen and you go back to normal. We'll go through some of the parameter choices. Hit the negative button, you're going to come up with set reset. Set is actually your load unload pressure and reset is your load pressure. So in this case this compressor is set at 110 to load, unload and then 15 psi less so 95. It'll load at 95, unload at 110. If I want to change that parameter I hit the enter button, you'll see the 110 is flashing. We can go ahead and increase that to 116. We'll hit the enter button, number stop flashing, it locked that new parameter. If I want to get down to the reset, I just hit the F button once, hit the enter button, now I'll see reset is flashing, and I'll decrease that to 10 PSI. Hit the enter button, number stops flashing. So now the compressor is set to load at 106 PSI and unload at 116. That's how you'll set your load and unload pressures on a controller. We'll hit the plus button to go back to the home screen. Home screen tell you the compressor is off or whether it's running, your hours, compressor temperature, and PSI in the system. To reset your maintenance alarms, press the plus button and you'll scroll up It'll ask you for a code. Press the enter button, enter your code by the plus or minus buttons. Once the code's in place, hit the enter button. Now it's gonna give you access to the other parameters. We press the plus button, and it'll come up alarm reset. Hit your enter button, the no will flash. Hit your plus button, now it'll be yes. Hit your enter button. Now you've acknowledged to the controller you want to reset the maintenance parameters. Press your plus button one more time. Now you're in the maintenance screen itself. So if we hit the F button, we'll come up with the uh, different maintenance alarms. And to reset it, just press and hold the F button for five seconds. It'll come up RES. We've just reset that maintenance alarm. Hit the F button, it'll take you down to the next tier. Press and hold the F button in. The screen will display RES, that means that parameter's been reset. Hit the F button again, and hold it for five seconds. Four or five now is flashing RES, we've reset that maintenance alarm. Hit the F button again, five of five, which is the separator. Press and hold the F button, five seconds, it'll come up with RES. So that's how you reset your maintenance parameters on the actual controller itself. To go back to the home screen, we can just hit the minus button. And now we're back to the home screen.